The assessment practices in an inquiry classroom are seamlessly woven into every part of instruction. We know from the work of John Hattie, he did a meta-analysis, a synthesis of um, 800 meta-analysis. Those thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of studies. When assessment feedback, formative assessment is built into the instruction, and kids have that on an ongoing basis, they have, creates a 0.73 learning gain. At a 0.4, Anything above 0.4 on is the result of instruction that a teacher is doing or something the teacher is doing that makes a difference. Anything on this side can just be natural maturation and development. Anything below two or below is incredibly detrimental to learning. And so we have from his work, we know the things we should abandon. We know the things that are just part, the kids could do it whether we were there or not. And we know which things they can do because we've put them into place and assessment is one of them. One of our highest ones, in fact. What you can do as a teacher is make an incredible difference the minute your disposition of inquiry is now situated and your work is in that space that starts to question your practice in deep ways. What we suddenly have read back to us as teachers is exactly what goes into our teaching. And I think that reciprocal kind of arrangement, that's why some kids give us grief. Right? Because what, and the piece that I always ask is, am I getting what I expect? Or am I getting, with really good instruction, what they could produce? Am I putting the student in that space? It's why the relationships are so incredibly important in this work. It's through the work that the relationships get developed. It's that point, I love that diagram, the Mari diagram, because it's the, it, often we think of a relationship as a student and the teacher, but if it's not held with the content and, what, and those disciplines, uh, what we do is lose that centering and the part of the triangle, which gives us our really strong base in these ones. So it's through the work, it's student to student, it's teacher to student, and I would also say it's teacher to teacher. As a group of high school students told me here in Vancouver when I was working with them, you think we don't notice if teachers don't get along with each other? We do. <laughs> And I think the really important thing is, is this work is not private work. It's not solitary work. It's work that comes in community, in networks of people working together, of one teacher saying, I don't know how to do that. It's of me saying, Canadian geography, I need to learn something. It's being able to be open, so the trust and respect need to be there. It's working together to improve and strengthen your practice. And I've often thought, the reason they call it teaching practice, because you keep on practicing throughout your whole entire life, that's why. Um, but you work together and you have feedback and all the components of learning on yourself. So finding someone who'll be a, a good friend to your practice and help you to grow stronger practice becomes part of this. I think um, one of the things that we know that when we're working, because I often wondered when I was teaching why I would have colleagues who were deeply experienced, but they just always experienced only their first year over and over and over again. They didn't seem to grow. Um, but I think what we want to have is not uninformed professional judgments by teachers working in isolation. What we want is informed participation and informed professional judgment as teachers. So it's that sense, right, of, of really creating that really strong, knowledge-focused, knowledge-rich profession in which we grow to be really strong in our own practice, very, very strong professional practice. We know from research that when we do that, it has a uh, almost, it's a 0.91 learning gain for students. So not just for ourselves, but for our students. We do this, we, yes, absolutely, we do it on behalf of ourselves, because we love what we do. But we also do it on behalf of the children that we teach. <clears throat> 